Toppenish is located in south central Washington in the edge of wine country. Uh, we're an agricultural area. We have a, a migrant population of about 20 percent. Our uh, minority population exceeds 95 percent and our uh, free and reduced lunch is near 100 percent. The experts would, would say that our high poverty, uh, high minority would indicate that uh, we have the factors that would make us not successful, but what has made us successful in part is the implementation of Project Lead the Way in the engineering curriculum and the biomedical. We approached our, our math department, our science department, and they developed a vision through our visits uh, with other schools and implemented it fantastically. When we first implemented Project Lead the Way, and I'd go into a classroom, I couldn't tell who the teacher was because we would not only have students working collaboratively, but we'd have two, three, and sometimes four adults in the classroom, four teachers collaborating together on the process of engineering. Other people in the science department and the math department saw what was happening, became interested in the collaborative nature and wanted to be a part of it. And that grew the next year. Our first year we offered five classes, second year 17, third year 27, and we're on pace for about 30 classes this year of biomedicine and engineering. That makes sense. Yeah. The reason why Project Lead the Way is so important to this community is it, it gives our students career opportunities that they're not going to find anywhere else. The program is very rigorous, and because of the rigor, our kids are taking, and the relevancy, our kids are taking the upper division math classes now, the upper division science classes, where they understand that there's engineering all around Which us. Which one would you define as your top few? Teaching the engineering, the students were able to grasp the concepts and see the relevance of what they were learning. Why was it that they were learning mathematics? Well, mathematics is a shortcut. They finally get to see it when they're working with their gears and working with hands-on projects. The teacher is more facilitating and bringing resources to the students and making those available instead of just being the fountain of knowledge that somehow is gonna transfer that over. The curriculum allows entry points of learning at every level. The students have to interact, they have to communicate, and every student finds something that they can be successful at. That's huge. After I took one class, I was pretty much hooked, and I was like, man, this is great. Taking five engineering classes in high school has prepared me to understand if I really like engineering or not. So since I've taken all these classes, it's influenced my major and really confirmed that, oh, I do want to do engineering. All right, let's see what you got. Other kids should take Project Lead the Way classes because it's very different, it's very hands-on. You have instructors giving you instructions, but also helping you and giving you the freedom to do whatever you want. You get numerous opportunities handed to you. You're basically treated as an adult. If you're looking for a curriculum that engages students, and keeps their attention, and I believe is actually easier to teach. You need to take a look at Project Lead the Way. The students respond very well, and they're engaged. It's always fresh. The curriculum changes, it evolves. We find that our kids are able to go outside and get jobs in the technical field right out of high school because they're familiar with software, they're familiar with equipment, they're familiar with procedures. Because of the background, it gets hard to read. If I had to say what got our name out there as a school, uh, it would be Project Lead the Way. It got our name out there statewide. Uh, it, we had the statistics of our students that uh, were taking uh, above and beyond uh, their regular math courses and science courses because of their interest in engineering specifically. And I think that translated at the national level, especially with the focus of our nation towards STEM education. It's changed the culture of, of our high school. They can compete. And now that they know that more of our kids are going on to post-secondary education. As a sophomore, I kind of didn't even want to go to school for a while. Project Lead the Way influenced me to kind of go to school and do a career, but it's something that I love doing. You know, I'm looking forward to it. My parents are uh, very proud. They see more of a light bulb going off in my head now. I wasn't really never too close with my parents like that. And after I started kind of getting involved, they got interested and then they got kind of involved with me. I'm sensing a stronger level of energy within the community uh, as a result of the program. For a, for a small community like the, like the town of Toppenish to have the reputation that's coming from Toppenish High School Which for being highly engaged, uh, I think it speaks way. well to the program. Okay. I look at this from a business perspective as an investment in our future. Are those 
bracket's gonna mess that up. Anymore. I don't understand why schools would not use Project Lead the Way. Uh, the curriculum is there, uh, the training is there, it's extensive, it's detailed, and uh, just want to reaffirm that uh, the success that we've had here at Toppenish is in large part due to our relationship with Project Lead the Way.